Well, the Ford government hasn't declared intimate partner violence an epidemic, but it is offering money for cities to tackle the problem. CTV News has learned dozens of local organizations are working to get a piece of that pie. Joining us now with more on this story is our own Michelle Molesky. Michelle. Ricardo, Ontario is offering $100 million. Each proposal will be eligible for anywhere from $100,000 to up to $5 million, spread out over three years, depending on the scope of the project. Windsor Police are hoping to be successful as they are already rolling out a new unit to target this part of their operation. 35% of all crimes against people fall into the intimate partner violence category, according to Windsor Police. We're not going to arrest our way out of every problem. So Superintendent Paolo De Carlo says they're creating a new unit to target the problem. Based on the early successes of units like the nurse police team, De Carlo believes they can make a difference by having the necessary victim services on board in the cruiser at the time of the call. Certain aspects of our job may not be law related, uh, but having those partners that, that can help us out with that stuff is, is one of those things that we can certainly partner up and it, it's a benefit for everybody because we're providing real time information, real time resources to people that, that actually need it. 20% of survivors are going forward to the police. Which means 80% of the people who are struggling with IPV aren't calling police. Legal Assistance of Windsor is one of 40 agencies across Windsor-Essex whose leaders met Thursday to hammer out a plan to get some provincial funding. Shelley Gilbert says an early idea is having one point person who helps each survivor. We have to walk with people. They are frightened. They feel alone. And she says they want to turn their minds to men. There are men and boys who don't want to continue giving harm and making harm. So how do we support those individuals who want to do better, who want to be a, you know, part of a family? The Violence Against Women Coordinating Committee Windsor-Essex and Windsor Police have until October 11th to draft and submit their final proposals. The province says they will announce the successful programs for tackling IPV sometime this fall. Ricardo? Okay, maybe a potential solution here. Michelle, thank you for that. Mm, yeah. well, here's our question of the day. Do you think intimate partner violence is an epidemic? You can go to our website to cast your vote. That's at ctvnewswindsor.ca.